Thanks, Wes. And now here's the bottom line with Jamila Russell. Good night and welcome to another edition of the bottom line. Happy New Year. I am Jamila Russell. Over this last weekend, I saw a very interesting advertisement in the newspaper. There's a job fair approaching for the Diageo Rum facility that is being built on St. Croix. Because I, like many out there in our community, am looking for gainful employment, I read the ad closely to ascertain if there were any vacancies for which I was eligible to apply. Many were managerial positions in specific areas that, although not stated in the newspaper, would require extensive experience. After reading, I got to thinking, how are we as Virgin Islanders going to match task with talent if no talent for these particular areas exists? According to the Virgin Islands Bureau of Economic Research reps, website, as of September 2009, the year-to-date average unemployment rate on St. Croix is 9%. This is an alarming number. However, even with the job vacancies at the Diageo plant, I don't see this number being significantly reduced. Unless Virgin Islanders are offered the opportunity to train for positions, technical positions, at the rum distillery. I am afraid that the talent will have to be imported and this should not be. Virgin Islanders should be given every opportunity to receive the training necessary to fill positions at the rum distillery. Coventa has a training school that offers training so that Virgin Islanders can become process operators and safety technicians and other jobs, I suppose. I know for a fact that one of the subcontractors offers training program for positions that are normally hard to fill and require technical knowledge, thereby eliminating the need to import workers. The bottom line is Diageo is well, well on its way. The question is whether or not it will provide jobs to Virgin Islanders, thereby reducing the unemployment rate on St. Croix. While the plant is being built, Diageo, in conjunction with the Department of Labor, should implement a training program so that Virgin Islanders can fill these positions. I have not seen or heard anything where this is being considered. The Commission of Labor and the management of Diageo should meet, discuss, and come up with a training program and make it available to those of us on the unemployment rolls. What we do not need is an influx of imported workers to fill the jobs that we so desperately need. See you at the job fair. This has been The Bottom Line with Jamila Russell. Tune in Thursday for another edition. Good night. Thanks, Jamila. And the views expressed on The Bottom Line are not necessarily those of WSVI's management and paid sponsors. And stay with us on Channel 8. We have more news after the break. Another cruise ship visit for St. Croix. And believe it or not, this ship was filled with Tomians. Here's News Channel 8's West Small with more. All right, I ran into an old friend and some new friends, and we have the summit uh, here today. I believe it's packing about 2,000 passengers here. I got to start off with my old friend, Carol Lee, who yes. used to. Carol Wells, okay, <laughs> and uh, used to be the public information officer for Juan Louis. She wore many hats, and here you are now picking up some friends and family. Family who came to visit us. This is my cousin Betsy and her friend Fred. Yep. All right, and where y'all folks hailing from? Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, Cincinnati. Wonderful to be house. here, St. Croix. So sorry that my New York Jets had to beat y'all last night. Doesn't matter. We're in the playoffs with home field advantage. Whoa! <laughs> You're in trouble, Wes. Talk that smack, girl. <laughs> she even knows the odds. Man, what do we have here? <laughs> well, I'm uh, Betsy's fiance, and she teaches me everything I need to know. So. All right, including yeah. how much to go for the first down. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. Is this y'all first time here? First time here, yep, on this island, absolutely. Beautiful. And y'all know this crazy woman right here? We're just meeting her for the first time today. Oh, I'm just meeting her. But she's family for me. She's wonderful, man. She's yeah. helped out the VR communication com community. Uh -huh. For many years, I can tell you that she she's, she wears many hats. And <laughs> oh still, yes, and today she's tour guide. Oh man, <laughs> with my husband Glenn. Hey, happy New Year, Glenn. And the same to you. All right, man, you got your hands full with this one. Oh right, well, <laughs> yeah. All right, tell us what's going on on the summit. Are you guys having a great time? It's an awesome ship, and it's a wonderful wonderful tour we're going on. All right, well, y'all have a lot of fun. Where's the next port after you leave here? St. Kitts. St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. All right. Sugar City. Is it? Yeah. Well, when are y'all getting married? We haven't set a date yet. Sometime this year, perhaps. Sometime. Probably. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make Carol Lee get her bat out. All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to bop around and find some more folks, but nice talking to y'all. Happy New Year. All right. We got some more passengers on the summit here. And 
I'm just so used to seeing people coming out of Puerto Rico and from the States, and I just said, you're from Puerto Rico, right? No. No, we're not. No, we're from close to here, actually. Close to here? Yes. St. Thomas. St. Thomas. So what's yes. going on? Y'all got me on this one. <laughs> We got to get into how y'all ended up on St. Croix on this boat that's just left San Juan, right? We just Wait, left St. Thomas yesterday. Oh, so it's, yeah. oh, so this left St. Thomas now it's here, and now y'all are off to St. Kitts. See, mm -hmm. I know. You, you I've been be sneaking there. there. I, t I should. <laughs> I should be on there with you. Wow. All right, Rebecca, right? Yes, my name is Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca, tell us what's going on on St. Thomas. You still go to school? Yeah, I'm a senior. Antilles? Yeah, Antilles. <laughs> Antilles has the prettiest women, doesn't it? <laughs> I knew a girl from Antilles once, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Rebecca, you are beautiful. Is this your sister? Thank you. Yeah, that's my sister. Wow. Older. Little sister. Oh, oh, let's get that right out of the way. I'm shorter, but older. So you're out of school? Or? I am. I graduated in 2007, and I go to, I go to college at American University in D.C. See, I knew a buddy used to go to American, man, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Keeping it in the family. Keeping it in the family. America, what are you studying? Law? No, my major is health promotion. Health so. promotion? You got to come back to the BI and give it up? I'd love if I get a job. That's the thing, right? It's your salary, you. right? Right. We need yeah. help here, that's for sure. And who is this lovely lady? Is this your big sister? Our older sister. Yeah, yes. older sister. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Okay, I thought y'all y'all were from Puerto Rico, but um, y'all were I from actually Grew went here. Yeah, went she to St. Thomas from St. Croix back in 1974. Uh, really? I love you're a Central Croix. High School grad? Or? No, St. Joseph. St. Joseph. Class of 74. And so now you still teach today? Or teach? No, no. I was a teacher for many years and now I'm in real estate and actually do, I'm, I'm working for the AMG radio stations. Okay. All right. Dig it up for Radio One. Radio One. That's cool. We'll let you get to the end. <laughs> but as far as TV is concerned, your favorite station Hey, is Channel 8. Yeah. Channel 8 all day. And of course, your favorite reporter is? What? Thank you. Say it again. Wes. I love it. <laughs> I didn't even introduce myself to them. So it's Rebecca and Nicole. And Nicole and Mommy. Dawn. And Dawn. Okay. Hey. This is great. I want to say happy there goes all my notes. I want to say happy new year to everyone out there. The happy summit. New year. Lovely passengers on board and stuff. Come on in here, man. You've been like with us. Oh, is They're that why? Oh, more St. Tommy. How do you? How are you? How you doing? I'm John Richards. And John this is Richards. I'm Clara Richards. And y'all having a great time? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes we are. Thank yes, yes, we are. Good. Next stop, St. Kitts. Oh, yeah. yeah for sure. Go. Yeah. Who's going to be the boss when you get to St. Kitts? Who knows their way around? Mommy! <laughs> Mommy's the boss. He got the credit cards going. Oh! I am going to stow away with this group. All right. We're in Fredericksted. Happy New Year to everyone out there. Happy New Year. St. Thomas is in the house. All right, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, and boat races are coming up next. Stay with us.